Well, it's certainly been a while since I've done something like this, and I think that it's only fitting for us to relax, have a cup of coffee as I talk about something that I'm realizing has become more and more of a problem in video games as I've gotten older. The idea of finishing games. I know that I am someone who has struggled greatly with finishing games over these past couple of years. Especially as someone who is a multi-console gamer, I have so many things splitting my attention. Whether it's Final Fantasy 16, which has quickly become probably my favorite Final Fantasy game, Tears of the Kingdom, or even, gosh, I don't know, playing Halo now on my new Xbox Series X. It's tough for me to focus. I don't know if you're someone who has experienced something like that before. If you are, please let me know in the comments below, but finishing games is a problem. And Another problem that I've realized as time has gone on as a gamer is I'm someone who does enjoy multiplayer games, but I am drawn and I am engulfed in story. I love story. I especially love stories like uh, Final Fantasy 16, as I've already stated, or Guardians of the Galaxy. And these games just consume me. I love it. But the thing that I've always struggled with is sharing that experience with others. Not until after you've finished the game do you get to talk to somebody and be like, hey, have you played this before? And they go, yeah, I have. And then you start geeking out and nerding out about different moments. I know in the most recent podcast episode of Bash Brothers, I start talking about Final Fantasy X and nerding out with my Bash brother Chase. And we talk about different things in that game, but there was something just so special about sharing that moment. And so I thought, what do you do when you want to create a community and unite them under the same type of idea, which is playing video games together? Not everybody wants to play Fortnite or Apex Legends or some of these big multiplayer games or just some of the easier ones like Mario Kart or Fall Guys. It's just not everybody's cup of coffee. They're looking for something more singular. And so I thought, well, there's stuff out there for people who like to read. There are book clubs. They like to enjoy a book together. And I thought, that's a great idea. Maybe we create a book club, a gaming club for, man, for that matter. How do we figure out how to track this? And so Cartridge Club was born. It was an effort. It is an effort. It is a very, very uh, new thing and a new idea that has, was born this past month. In the month of June, myself as well as half a dozen other people who wanted to be a part of it played Super Mario Bros. 3, the original Super Mario Bros. 3. It was open to choosing whichever one you wanted to play. I chose to use the Game Boy Advanced version, other people played the original NES version, but still, we played through Super Mario Bros. 3. And let me tell you, it was a spectacular experience. We got to share in our frustrations with some of the different levels and marvel at some of the fun different mechanics that we experienced in a game that was released long ago. And that was the induction, that was the beginning of the Cartridge Club. And as time goes on, I want this to grow. So as it starts, if you're someone who has trouble, who just can't find the time or the drive to finish a game once you've started it, maybe the Cartridge Club is for you. I'm gonna tell you right now that as it stands, the way that it works is at the beginning of the month, for the 30 days or 28, I guess, for February, but that's gonna be a while, you'll have one of three games to choose from. You can play all three if you'd like, a game from the Nintendo Switch Online service, a game from the PlayStation Plus service, and a game from the Game Pass service. And the reason why I'm choosing to use those services is because for the most part, if you own one of these three consoles, you are subscribed to one of those three services. And my goal is to create a gaming environment or a gaming community that can play games together. And so access is probably the biggest stumbling block or roadblock to do that. Once those games have been assigned, a fun graphic will be designed by my Bash brother for each game and you'll be able to go ahead and play it with other people in the Cartridge Club. And I guess you're probably wondering, how do I join the Cartridge Club? Is it open to everybody? It's open to anyone. It's actually the membership of this here channel, my channel, Julian Melnick. If you would like to join the Cartridge Club, you just join the membership. Now, the games are available for anyone to play. I'll be doing live streams specifically for members of the channel 
but for the most part, the gaming of those will be done off stream. If you wanna be a part of the community on Discord that is going through those games, join the Cartridge Club. It's just the join button below. It'd be a lot of fun. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and uh, get ready for next month because those are gonna be some fun games. Oh, that's good. Well, good to see you guys. Happy gaming. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. All right, later.